Okay, so I'm gonna coat some cyanotype paper and then I'm gonna make a really quick print just to show you how to make your first print. So one myth about cyanotype you might think is that, oh, you need a red light and you actually don't. So you can just turn on your normal lights. You don't wanna do this outside and we have a piece of uh, watercolor paper here. So I have a cup here and I'm gonna take some chemistry, very small amount, cause I'm just gonna make one picture. I have my bottle, this is the A bottle. Pour one spoon of uh, this. Doesn't matter how much you're using, as long as they're both the, the same or similar. Now I'm gonna get the, the B bottle. I'm gonna shake it. Then I'm gonna pour the chemistry from the B. I kind of poured a little more B than A, and I'm kind of glad that happened. It's so, so that you know that it's not gonna really mess anything up if you do a little too much of the A or too much of the B. It kind of changes the, um, the quality of the blue that you're gonna get. Okay, so then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just sort of mix this together. You could use a spoon if you'd like, especially if you're doing a larger batch. Oh, I've got some on my hand. It's always good to have uh, paper towels around for that. And then I'm gonna just get this brush. I'm gonna brush on the chemistry. So I just do this. And I, I personally like uh, a look where you can see the brush strokes. Other people like it to be more like a photograph. And that's all gonna happen by how you um, do this. I like the imperfections. I think it sort of t uh, speaks to the, a lot of the things that I photograph, which is skateboarding. So now I got the coating on there and I'm just gonna do one coat in the interest of keeping the video short. Now I'm gonna have this uh, hair dryer and I'm gonna blow dry the paper. Okay, so the paper's dry. And now I'm going to prepare the picture, the print to be exposed to the sunlight. So I'm just gonna take this um, frame. And you can use any frame. You go to the thrift store and buy a frame or you might already have a frame somewhere. To show you, I'm gonna put the picture, I have a picture here. And I want the emulsion to be facing the emulsion. So this is the emulsion. The the stuff we put on our papers in motion. And when I printed this negative, this is just a photograph that I printed and reversed, and I printed it on a piece of clear plastic. And I put that there. And for this to work, I'm, I want the sun to shine through it, so I'm gonna face it this way, face it towards the glass, and then put the back of the frame on. And I'm gonna take that outside and expose it for uh, five minutes.